Reef in Cairns. Got into town here in Cairns a day before Anthony. Got the boat loaded up with Hoggy and we headed out. First day we sonared quite a few fish. running the show as we get out there. I'm gonna be running the sonar for him. We're gonna try and uh, figure out where some of these bigger fish are. Yeah. How long have you been fishing here, Steve? Uh, this is my 32nd year on the reef up here. So yeah, I've been here a few years. Started in 87 there. We've just missed a couple of years because of the uh, COVID problems, but um, we're back to fishing, so that's a good thing. Yeah, man, so, time, time to go fishing for sure. It's exactly, crazy. exactly. So yeah, that's the plan. We're just gonna go out and do a bit of bait fishing this morning on the way out. Uh, we'll fish Linden Bank today. We'll be back in at South Opal tonight. Um, it's a nice little anchorage there. The mothership's there waiting for us. Uh, yeah, so then we'll work out where the fish are on the reef and where we're going to go to position the boat the next day. So yeah, hopefully they're still at Linden Bank where the boys have been catching quite a few nice ones lately. So that's where the good starting point. Cool. Here we go. Here we go. He just tried to. He just tried to eat it. I saw him in the camera. Technician trying to point 
the KVH satellite so that we have signal for a little while before we go fishing. We got plenty of time because fishing doesn't start till noon. But over the course of the last four days, it won't start biting till 4 30 p.m. So come on, Elon Musk. Come on, Elon Musk. KVH, you suck. <laughs> Nice one. Uh, they never even know it was hooked. Swimming down swell. Had 42 pounds of drag on it. Just got the bait back after a short period of time. Here by the reef right now. Ribbon number two. Beautiful weather. Did some snorkeling this morning. Saw some cool stuff there. Another uh, fishing yesterday. We uh, caught a little one. That was, I mean, it was a cute one. About an 80 pounder or something. Found that on the sonar. We uh, missed one other one. That's a wahoo bite. That's cool bait fishing on crazy looking fish. I don't know what the heck they are. All goofy looking. Most of them are pretty similar to what we got in other areas. But a couple of them so much. Strange looking thing. And then uh, last night we had a mishap at the other ship. Try to put the camera over on the other boat to take some pictures, so we're shooting all this on an iPhone. This one, the camera went swimming. It's still there. Ordered another one. We'll be uh, fine tuning all that. Hopefully, get another one here in a couple of days. of and, and especially big dead bait and it was a real eye-opener it was pretty neat okay. Seth from the Atlantic Princess hooked it up and got us a camera delivered to Cooktown which like is in the middle of nowhere and within 24 hours we had a camera which I'm talking to you now one of my favorite parts is catching the bait baits are Beautiful. They're like elephant. Yes, we all know. 10 that 12 pound baits. We all know that you catch bait. <laughs> yes. You catch all the bait. The position is open for anybody that's rigged up. Rule 42B. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yeah! 
hold it there, don't go all the way up. pretty much extensive travels there. I've fished for a couple of years in Madeira. I've fished pretty much all over the world actually, so I've, uh, yeah, I've been doing that for geez, 35 years now. Um, I got into it when I was a young kid there. My father used to take us out in an old petrol boat and torture the living hell out of us there. I used to get chronically seasick and uh, I had to work my way through that. And then few years there I've just been um, driving private boats for people and, and you know just doing what I do fishing different tournaments and stuff like that um, Anthony approached me back in 2018 there to maybe come and do a, a, a situation where we're gonna go and do a, a world tour fishing the world and stuff like this on, on a few different boats um, which obviously has escalated immensely now 2019 I joined them in Auckland in New Zealand there, just going to start fishing the broadbills and the large striped marlin over there. Unfortunately about four weeks into the uh, program there, the COVID hit, managed to shut the whole world and everything down for the last two, two and a half years. So now that everybody's allowed to fly around the world again and go to different countries there, we've uh, started the program, or Anthony's initiated the program again, and now we're actually um, starting this world tour. So. We're on part two is from what I've from what I've seen so far. We're actually on the Great Barrier Reef feeding for the giant black marlin over here. Um, there's been a few nice ones seen. Um, it's just early on in the start of the season there. Once this moon dies down a bit, we should be uh, fish, good, good, good to go there. The, the fish are turning up. We're marking a lot of on the screens and stuff at the moment. The water's clearing up and yeah, so that's the program. We're out here to do what Anthony needs to get done. So that's our program. So yeah, good luck. One of the great things about this trip is we got to learn, you know, the dead bait fishery here. And we had the honor of fishing with Hoggy and Riley Page, who uh, great young man, very patient in the cockpit with us because we didn't know how to do this. And he was teaching us how to do it. And, he was hustling. It was a really cool experience to fish with him. Great kid, great mindset, hard worker. I'm Riley. I, um, I've been fishing now on the east coast of New South Wales since I was about six years old. Um, grew up fishing with my, my dad and my uncle and my uncle's 44 game boat, which I was pretty lucky enough to do. So, but yeah, ever since I was younger, just did that. Um, I was fortunate enough to uh, grow up looking up to the to a few good skippers of Australia, like the captain here, Hog, and uh, fortunate enough to get this opportunity to ride along and crew under the Bad Company World Tour. So um, yeah, I feel pretty fortunate to do that. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been good so far. It's catching a few smaller fish. Dropped a few nice ones, which is unfortunate, but each day is a new day, and yeah, it's hopefully we uh, we get a nice one on any day now and bring it to the scales. from uh, Atlantic Princess. We've, uh, we're here with the Bad Company crew chasing the giant black marlin out here at number three ribbon reef, Great Barrier Reef. Uh, I've been mothershipping and superyachting in Australia for 30 years around the world and it's great to have this team here and this uh, big event, this world tour.
pretty fish. Yeah. It wasn't very big, but pretty. Two back to back pretty quick there. Yeah, that thing went over and looked at the swim bait first. Did it? Gummers, baby. Yeah, that's it. We're quantity over quality at the moment. But, um, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, what do you think of that accent? Uh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> for all you females out there, I'm gonna, we're gonna, you know, when we edit this, we'll put his Instagram on the bottom. He's actually from Michigan. <laughs> Sheboygan. <laughs> Sheboygan, Michigan. Sheboygan, Michigan. Man. And today? Today. Right. Today. Yeah, today we've got a, got a couple. A couple of well, two bites. Let one go at a distance. I did move to Palm Beach, so I doubt that's, it's into that's Palm, Palm Beach, Beach release. release. Palm yep. Beach release. Yeah. Palm Beach release. Counts over there. Oh, then we get to count a couple more other fish. Yes, sir. Wow. Palm Beach release, baby. I like this. No dangers from Palm Beach. Nah, it's been good. A little bit bumpy, a little bit grumpy out there, not too bad. Definitely but some weather. Hanging on a little. Thank goodness for gyro stabilization. Yep, see what we can weather. Just happy to be here. This has been a lot of work. It's been a long time coming. The Viking has been here twice. Once in 2020. And it got locked down to COVID, and then we shipped it back. And then in March of this year, it was in March? Yeah. Okay. March, we came here, and then uh, we had to jump through lots of regulations to get the boat properly paperwork. And then uh, did a lot of work with uh, sonars and stuff like that. And finally, we're here. Not a lot of private programs here. So we're we're happy to be here, kind of, you know, doing our thing. There's a world class, world class, legendary fleet here with some great boats. So we're just, just happy to be here, man. We unfortunately had to cut the trip short. We, uh, we had some technical difficulties with the boat, some mechanical failure that uh, we're working through right now. And gonna get her back online for trip two. Which starts in about 12 days. 